Hello everybody. Um, I'm building this little chest of drawers with um, a cardboard box. It's all entirely recycled um, material. And who gives me all the time these fantastic um, inspirations and ideas is Al John, Amy from Al John. And she does a series of budget um, craft on a budget. So I'll put her link down below and that way you can check her out. Um, probably everybody knows her because she is she's fantastic. Anyways, I've had these little boxes for ages. Um, I have painted gauze in here and they have these little um, lids on them and my niece brings them to me. I don't not exactly sure. I think they get mm, Oh dear, see that's the name of my niece's store. She has a wedding shop. I think they get little cushions in here. I'm not I'm not exactly sure, but I have tons of them. So I've always wanted to make um something um out of these. Always I always had this idea in my head as well too when I received a lot of these boxes. Now this box that I originally used was I can't remember what it was, but it was it was from the Christmas um period. And um, it was too big, like I couldn't put, I could put five boxes down in two rows. And um, I couldn't, the space was being wasted um, because I couldn't fit more in here um, or this way or this way. So my best bet was to... Um, to reduce the, the size of the box is what I actually did. And um, at, this is where I want to show you. Now this video will just be showing this and then I will be showing how I'm going to go about decorating and everything and using little beads for their little handles and, um, and so on. So I will be decorating all those little boxes. I'm thinking of just um, kind of tacking them all together the way they would sit in here and do a beautiful uniform stencil all over them and then when they're divided you see the the design continuing from one drawer to another so what i used here is these these blocks here which is i think compressed cardboard and they came in um when we bought when we redid the kitchen last year i bought finally a dishwasher and yeah 30 years without a dishwasher <laughs> and um, and these were in there so um, I've only saved them because they were really good to prop up things on top of to paint and things I don't throw anything out and they were really good so this is where these came in use they're filling up the space of this box I did them on both sides and now I'll be cleaning them with cardboard on the inside like that and I did it I had to do it on the oh I think this is no it isn't it isn't um, glued yet and I did it on this side as well too now when I put the, the drawers in here they kind of like really low so I am adjusting the height of the drawers with these sticks and you know I'm finding all this wood all over the house this was in my mother-in-law's house back when I can't remember what these pieces of wood there's another piece of wood like this but you know they always come in handy so I will be doing this building some space underneath to get this piece in the back and I'm, and I'm also gluing everything down with the glue gun now what you would need to do projects like this is you know a good ruler a good um, measuring tape um, I, I needed these to take the nails out of those wooden pieces underneath. Um, then I have a miter saw, which the other part is here. So I'm cutting a lot of things like that. And I will be cutting what's going to be going over the edge um, with this as well too. And I'm going to show you that in a minute. And then um, a hammer because like I had to take the nails out. But the glue gun is essential. The, um, unless you want to use white glue, measuring tape and, and you know these things here, marking tools. So where was I at? Yes, so now that when I have all this constructed, naturally I'm going to be building the shelves um, to sustain the, the things. So I have five in a row, so I'm going to have to build four little shelves. And then 
what I want to do to cover up this is something that always came in in those boxes are these corner things that I've had saved as well too and actually I can get a lot more of these because apparently they come in also um, my husband has a ceramic store which is closed right now um, but um, these I, I've seen these um, sustaining you know some kinds of sinks or or bathtubs or in the showers you know when he sells them and I'm thinking of where can I show it to you better right like that so I'm thinking of just um I might not have to cut the miters here this will be straight and the reason being I want to do this is because instead of putting something where did I put that piece here I brought a piece over Mm -hmm. well I have a small one here I'll show it to you something like this but bigger to cover up the edges but uh, what I would like to do is put feet on it so I want it as flat as possible on the corners because the feet that I'm intending to put on are the ones that wrap around the corner I think they're Tim Holtz or something or Finnabar I can't remember but they're beautiful feet so I would like to use those on this um, on this piece as well too. Now it's a good sturdy piece. It's really sturdy. After I put everything in, it's really really sturdy. So my next video will be showing you what it's going to probably will be looking like once it's finished. But I was I I was hoping because then somebody will probably say you know how did you do it, and um, this is how I did it. So this is what you know giving all the sturdiness of the the box and you know it's just a normal box that's all it was there was actually plastic handles here so I had to um, reinforce it a bit because it was kind of really wobbly but yeah I'll be showing it to you once it's done in probably a second part until the next time bye